Okay, we're going to do a class on Worry Bee. And um, this is Worry Bee, the book that I illustrated. And Ann Bees is the author. And so inside the book, there is a mantra that we say that says, just be in my center, just be in my heart, just be in my breath, and we'll have a fresh start. So you can see that the first one is be in my center. So we're going to paint the center B and talk about what does it mean to be in your center. You see the B? So I have a page on my links page at ColleenScory.com backslash links page that you can go to and that you can download this little picture of the bee so that you can copy it or trace it. So if you've downloaded it and you have it on a piece of paper like this, you can turn over your piece of paper to the back side and you can take a pencil and put it on its side and scribble all over the back of your picture like this. Just scribble right where the B is and make your pencil is graphite and that will go onto the lines. Then we have a piece of watercolor paper here and we are going to tape our B right in the middle of our picture. Then you can take your pencil and you can outline your B. So I'm outlining the B and this is the B, the worry B, that is in their center. And worry B likes sunflowers. Miss Anne Bees that wrote this, she loves sunflowers. And when I met her and I found that out, I thought that was so cool because I love sunflowers too. So I'm, when I made this for the book, for the center, I thought, why not make the bee's face be right in the center of the flower? Just like you're drawing right now or I'm drawing and hopefully you're watching and then you can do this. You can do it along with me or you can do it after you're done watching. Or you can do this part and stop the video while you're doing it and then you can listen and do more. So I'm just tracing every one of these flower petals like this. And then we've got to do their fun little ears, their antennas. I said that just like a Bostonian antennas, it's antennas. And now I'm going to put the wings on our bee, just like this. And then the body. And then the body will have stripes too. So you've got to put your stripes in trace every line like this. Or if you want and you don't want to trace, you could just do one yourself. You just draw it yourself. And then we got to do the eyes, which are two circles like this with little eyelashes on the circles. And then a cute little nose and a little smiley face right like that and then when we take it off I don't know if you can see this but it comes out you can use carbon paper too but it comes out kind of light which is okay because you want to use watercolor on it so that's what we have and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paintbrush let's see I'm gonna use this paintbrush 
This is a number four paintbrush and it has like a round tip. You can see, see how it's got like a little pointy tip. It's called a round brush. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I paint Worry Bee, okay? And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to do the lightest colors first and then go to the darker colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our yellow. So this is my paint palette. I'm gonna get some water and get that really, really wet. It doesn't work if it's too dry. And then you're going to paint the B. And do the face like this. I'm gonna go around the eyes because I'm gonna do the eyes a little bit of a different color. We're gonna put that like that. This part up here is black, so we're not doing that part now. You can get it wetter and just... And then we're gonna get some more yellow Let's see, let's remind ourselves, what does that be in my center look like? It has a yellow face and then see the orange in the eyes and then there's a yellow um, body with black stripes and then yellow with the flower. And it has little bits of orange in it on the edge. So let's see if we can do that. So we're going to get a little bit, we'll get this light orange like this, and we're going to just do inside, it's a little bit too much, I'm going to get a little yellow and mix it with it. I'm going to do yellow and orange inside the eye like that, yellow and orange for the eyes. You can paint inside your eyes. If it gets out of the line, you can just go like that and just get some yellow and put it right where you want it to be like that. Then you can take a little bit of orange and stick it on his nose like that. You can take your yellow and if you want, you could do the whole body and then put the stripes on afterwards when it's dry like this. So we're gonna put yellow in the whole body because the black is darker, you'll be able to differentiate between the black and the yellow, okay? So there's our B body, like that. Now we're gonna start doing the cute little petals that go around its head like this. So you're gonna do each one of the petals yellow, like this. So when I think about being in my center, what do you think? I know what I think, what do you think? Maybe you can talk about this with whoever's sitting there helping you paint. What is it like to be in your center? Is it like being in the middle of a flower? Hmm. You can imagine being in the middle of a flower. I can certainly imagine being in the middle of a field of flowers. That would probably make me feel very relaxed. So what I think of when I'm in my center is one of the ways that helps me to be feel centered, like centered means feeling yourself, feeling inside yourself. And what do you think? What do you feel? What, how are you, what are you doing to make yourself feel, help yourself feel better? So when you get centered, one of the ways that we know to get centered is to be, to do breathing. And you, you take a deep breath 
One, two, three, four, in. One, two, three, four, out. And then you can do it again, and that will help you. But another way is to paint. I find that when I paint, it helps me to just feel in my center. It's just like I just relax. I'm not thinking about anything else. I just feel very centered. Kind of a little bit of a difficult concept to think about. What does it mean to be in your center? I think it's when you feel relaxed and you're not worried. Okay, so we have all of our flowers and our petals. I think I need to put a little bit more. We have all of our flowers and our petals done. So now we're going to take a little bit of the orange and we're just going to touch next to where the, the circle of the flower is. We're just going to touch it's still wet, it will bleed really nice for you. I'm just gonna touch the areas right here. Just put a little bit of orange right in this first part of the flower like this. You can see me doing it. It kind of gives a little bit of depth to your flower as you go like that, okay? So just a little orange right there, and that kind of helps, okay? So now that we have it done like that, it's kind of wet everywhere. So we can go like this. We can blow it dry. We can wait for it to dry. It's good to kind of wait for it to dry because if you do it when it's wet, like say I put some blue on here when it's wet, it will bleed into the yellow. So I'm trying to dry it a little bit here. I'm blowing on it. Another way you can do it is you can um, get a blow dryer out. Okay, I think I'll try some of the blue. So I'm gonna pick a blue, maybe like a little bit of this blue that looks a little turquoisey color. And I am going to do the wings. So I'm gonna go like this and paint the wings in this blue like this. Just be careful when you get near the yellow that you don't get it on the yellow part like that. Who knows what yellow and blue make? If you were to get some of this blue in your yellow, do you know what color that would make? It would turn green. I don't think I want any green here. I just want blue. So there's one wing. We'll get, get some more over here and we'll do the other wing like this. There you have it. You have a bee with, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more like this. There we go. That looks a little bit better. I get to go right over the top of that. There we go. All right. So now we have little 
bee wings like that. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the black part. So this is when you really want it to be dry. You can, if you'd like, later you could paint the outside or you could just leave it. You could write the words um, like with a big, with a black pen that's, that says, B and you could use the word B like the word B like that but it's really spelled B E in my And then down here, right, center, C, E, N, T, E, R. And then you could make like a peace sign like that. That's kind of cool. So now I'm going to do these antennas with my pen. Like that. Now you could use your pen to, to do the rest of it, like you could outline your eyes and you could put on your eyelashes Just like this with your pen. And the little nose in his mouth, like that. And then you can do your stripes like this. can outline your B like that. Now I'm going to use a little bit of black paint and I am going to paint the top part of his head with a little curly like this. There we go. So we got the top part of his head in the black. And then we can decide what we want to do. Do we want to have, we could have some black right up here in this part of the stripe. That will help to define, you can just kind of stick it up in there. Help define your petals a little bit better. So that's the first stripe and then you could get a little more black paint. And you can make the next stripe like this. And then you can make the next stripe like this. And then the bottom part where his little tail is, like that. And so you have your B. Just a few spots up here. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. And then you have your B like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to outline his head like this with my pen. And I'm also going to outline the flower petals like this.
If you don't want to outline yours, you don't have to. It's something that's just what I did when I did it in the book. You can make yours a little bit different if you'd like and not outline it. Sometimes I don't want to get my hand in the black, so I just turn my paper a little bit like that. There we have it. We have all the flower petals are done. And then if you want, you can then outline your wings like this and like this. There you have it. Now, if you want to sign your name, you can sign your name anywhere on here. But I'm going to do it right here. Colleen Scroy. There you have it. There is our completed worry bee. Just be in my center. Now you could take this and you could make a card out of it. You could make a magnet out of it and stick it on your refrigerator just to remind you and your family to just be in your center and say, take some time and be quiet. Sometimes when we meditate or close our eyes or say a prayer, that helps you to be in your center. So this is Be In My Center of the Be In My Center, Be In My Heart. Just be in my breath and I have a fresh start. I hope you'll share your pictures with me.